very, very understandable and still relates to the idea of figure eights. Okay? All right. So, as he throws a punch, it's going to be boom. Same thing. One, two, three, four. That's the concept. Okay? As he throws, boom, boom. Okay? It doesn't mean that slowly that I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay? As I move forward, the position of the hands and the point of contact changes. Okay? And what I want to be is able to adjust to the movements. For example, if he throws that first, I went bang, and I stopped him here. My second hit can be here. Okay, it doesn't have to be up here. Okay, because I'm still going one, two, three, four. So if I made this hit, bang, boom, that's still half of a figure eight. Okay, so just bear that in mind when I'm doing these. Okay, so I'll do the first one again slowly. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Okay? And on the inside, same thing. Okay? As I take the two hits here, I can adjust that to make it go. Okay? With the backhand, come in and boom. You're going to do basically the same. Okay? Again. Boom. Punch to the center. Okay. Again. Punch to the center. Okay. Now, we'll take it now one step further into the direct mode. As he throws his punch, coming in, crack. Backhand, same thing. Boom. Making your hit first. Bam. Boom. Okay, punch the center. Boom. Boom. Okay, now, again, we'll go through a few combinations here. Throw a punch. Doesn't matter. Boom. Throw. Boom. Okay, as I said before, the so what theory still applies. If you throw up here, I'm going to bam, boom. I don't care about this other one. I'm zoning my hits. If you throw on this side, boom, and he throws bang, boom, boom, boom. Now we're going to go into double.